If you want to capture your data on a USB, en enter your USB into the slot and it will detect that automatically. You can click on storage and here you'll see uh, you have an option of how you store the data. The waveform type can only be opened up on another Regal oscilloscope. So uh, you can either use this here to scroll up or down or you can click on this uh, to change the options so if you save it as a CSV file that can be opened in Excel um, you have the option here to either uh, capture all of the data because actually what you see on the screen isn't the full data set but you can also just uh, so save the selected data that you see on the screen so that's the displayed data and that's good enough you should click the parameters on so that it will save all of the information about uh, how many uh, volts per division you have etc and if you scroll down click on external um, if you click on new file it will come up with a default name and you can click save and you see that it's saving because it'll scroll across the screen once it's saved this will remain on the screen so to get out then you can just click on back back and turn the menu on and off here once you get your file onto the computer, you can double click it and open it up. On some versions of Excel, this will open up fine for you. So the data will appear in two columns and it will tell you that this is the time, uh, the X axis, and this is the voltage on the Y axis. Um, and on my version of Excel, this looks fine. Um, on some versions of Excel, all of the data will appear in one column. And then what you need to do is select that column and go to data and then text the columns. And you will be able to tell it that you want to split it up and that they are comma separated values. Um, um, but I don't need to do that in this case. Um, also, depending on whether you're using um, a comma or a, a period for your decimal separator, that can cause issues. So if you're using a mainland European version of Excel, uh, you can either switch that by going to File and Options. And then you can, uh, if you go to Advanced, you can change the system separators here so you can change between the period and the comma for instance uh, or the other option if you want to remain working in commas is that you would have to select the data highlight it like that and uh, if you do um, a control f you get this find and you could find your periods and replace with a comma and that will solve that problem as well uh, one of the other problems that some people get is that the capital E is not recognized as a number. So uh, you can also do a find and replace and replace it with a little E, for instance, where if that's the, the setting on your systems. Um, so there are a couple of things that you might need to fiddle around with. Um, but for now, this data looks pretty good on this version of Excel. So if I want to plot this, I can go to, to my chart options and plot it like this. And you see what comes up um, looks just like the, the, the oscillosc oscilloscope screen, so that's great. Um, but the units are certainly um, not very good on this. So if I double click these, you can see that it's giving me far too much information. It just looks messy, right? So if I want to change this, I can go down to number. And uh, I have two options. So at the, at the moment, it's in scientific. And I can say uh, I, I want zero decimal places. And I don't want this thing. Um, and uh, oops, and that will get rid of my decimal place. The other thing that's, uh, so I, I can delete this, in fact, and add. And that will take me down to a, a number that is just uh, an integer number. But the other option is if, for instance, I can show you on here, you can just, instead of selecting scientific, you can just select number and take the decimal places out. And that will have uh, exactly the same thing. But you can see on the bottom axis, actually, this was in um, seconds at the top. And actually, what I want is a new column which says milliseconds. So that's going to be this column. And it's going to be times 1 to the power of 3. And now that gives me the time in milliseconds. So I can just drag that down to the bottom. And then that's what I want to select as my data here. So if I go to select data, uh, I'm on series one and I want to edit it. So instead of the X values being this column here, uh, I want my X values to be this milliseconds column here. 
and just OK that. And now you can see that I have uh, a graph with the correct axes. So um, we don't put titles on our graphs. We use figure captions uh, instead. Um, I also think it's a nice thing to, to get rid of the border um, of your uh, graph as well. So there should be no line around it when you insert it into Excel, for instance. That just looks neater. Um, in Word, don't forget that you need to caption. And don't forget you do need to um, format uh, or is it design? You do need to add um, axis titles. And to add those, what you do is, uh, so you click this design and you add chart element and you can add your uh, vertical axis title, voltage in volts, and then you want a horizontal title this is going to be time in milliseconds. Um, also, just to keep it out of the way of the data, we can usually put them closer to the axes themselves. So just find a, find a decent place to put those.